Hey everybody, Kesava here. Welcome back to another midweek mini episode. Problems for the PE, FE, and even, you know what, the SE exam. A lot of these probably aren't going to be specific to the SE exam, but let's case them all in together. Okay, let's jump in. Uh, the cylindrical caseon shown is anchored in a soil with a density of 120 pounds per cubic foot and an angle of internal friction of 35 degrees. The water table is 15 feet above the bottom of the caseon, which is sealed with a concrete plug. The force on the concrete plug is most nearly, question mark, and they give us their values in kips. So what this problem is getting at is what's called uh, hydrostatic pressure. And hydrostatic pressure is the force that the water is exerting on the object that is submerged in the water. So think about back when you were a kid or, you know, maybe even discovered this when you're older. But generally you discover it when you're in like a bathtub setting or some type of body of water. And if you have a cup or a bucket or something, if you were to then push that empty bucket into the body of water, you would get resistance. You'd get a force pushing back underneath the bucket, trying to push that bucket up out of the water again. So that is called hydrostatic pressure. And that's what's happening here. So the only thing you really need to focus on is that depth of water. And something that they don't tell you in this problem is your density of water. So the facts that they did give you, the 15 feet, that's a good one, but the density of the soil isn't required and the internal friction angle isn't required. So those are just there to trip you up. So hydrostatic pressure, how do we solve for it? Well, it's just um, density of water which will denote 62.4 pounds per cubic foot multiplied by the depth of the structure below the water table. So it's not, it's not here. It's not how, how, how far down your structure is submerged in the ground. It's actually how far down it's submerged below the water table. So that additional five feet, that's not required either. It's just that 15 feet. So to get back, hydrostatic pressure is the depth times your density of water times the area, the surface area of the structure that's submerged. And they give us that here as a 15 foot diameter. So that means we have a radius. So if we were to cut this, make that section AA, we'd have the following, which would be a diameter of 15 feet. Well, we need to solve for the area. So area, the caseon, equals, we know, pi r squared or pi d squared over 4. Area then equals the following, which gets you 176.6 square feet. And we know a depth equal to 15 feet. We have everything that we need to solve. We have density, we have area, and we have depth. So our force denoted as F, it's going to equal 62.4 times 15 times 176.6. All of that, since our, all of our answers are in kips, are going to be divided by 1,000. Let's get us 165.3 kips, which we will round up to 166 kips, because it's closer to that than it is to 164 kips. So our answer is D. That's it team. We did it. Another example problem done in the books for the week. Let me know if you had any troubles with this, um, some potential problems that you'd like me to do next time, but I'm going to keep rattling these off for you. So uh, as always, please hit the like button, hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't yet, join the team. You know, it's a great time here, learning something new every week. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your fellow study mates, your classmates, um, anyone, your, your fellow professionals who are also studying for the PE or, again, your classmates who are studying for the FE. Let everybody know. Until next time, this is Kestova. I'll see everybody.